Um, hey Christian, I hope that you're having a great day. I'm at camp in my room and the air conditioner is incredibly loud. And so I'm so sorry if I'm talking really loud or if you hear that buzzing in the back. Um, I'll try and speak over it, but this is kind of the only private spot I have to do to finish these videos. Um, so yeah, and I can relate with you on, they are on the ball. They are getting these things done. The only reason why I got it done earlier this week is because I was coming to camp. And so I knew I needed to set a time time early in the week to get it finished. But I'm typically <laughs> where you are at and um, turning them in on Thursdays and um, which is not a bad thing. Um, so I also wanted to wish you a happy late birthday. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Um, with your fire alarms, but um, hopefully everything worked out and everything is okay and you know you were safe and all that. Um, so I just want to jump right into what you talked about on the video. Um, I think I agreed with a lot of the things that you said. <clears throat> um, this was also kind of a tough one for me. Um, I can see his point of view from the counseling theory side um I don't necessarily think it's the technique that I would use um or that I plan to use in the future um I really wanted to touch on um you talked about you know how Dr. Carlson and Gina talked a lot about her selfishness and um where that can uh, he sees that as a fault um and my you know I just was kind of thinking in my head whenever you were talking about it um you know, is she truly being selfish or is she taking, you know, the time and the space that she needs? Um, you know, she just went through a divorce and she has kids and she's becoming a single mom, a single working mom. Um, and so that takes a toll on a person. And so I think is she, you know, taking <clears throat> care of herself and, and should we necessarily view that as selfish? Um, because you, like you said, I like your, you know, she has to put her oxygen mask on first before she can, um, you know, do that for anybody else. She has to feed herself, you know, rather that be spiritually or, you know, seeing a counselor or a therapist, which obviously she was doing, um, in this situation or, um, you know, whatever it might be for her to rebuild, you know, her life because it just got changed drastically. So I have really have a hard time seeing that, um, you know, as selfish, but for the fact of this video, you know, he was viewing it as, or, and she was viewing it as a selfish, per, selfish personality, and she did state that this is not something that's normal for her, um, just in, like, her particular circumstances of going through the divorce and things like that, how, you know, she was kind of in a state of selfishness, and I think that it was a good thing that she identified that, that, this is not my normal, uh, normal way of being, but, um, you know, I plan in the future once I can get myself back to a safe place, um, uh, mentally and things like that, that, you know, I plan not to be that anymore. But like I said, I have a really hard time finding, you know, that she is being selfish because I believe that she is doing what she needs to do in order to help herself. Um, but in the case of someone who is actually selfish, um, in my point of view, maybe not from the Adlerian point of view of selfishness, um, I do see that to a detriment of somebody um, as a human being. You know, that's not a quality that people like in other people. Um, it's one, it's a hard quality to make up like a positive one instead of, you know, in, unless it's the case of like she's trying to take care of herself so that way she can take care of others. Um, and so. But yes, I um, kind of struggled with that as well and talking um, with that. Um, so the Adlerian theory is, you know, I'm reading about it. There's lots of techniques and things that he used in the video um, that I think are great. Um, I just don't know if me personally, if that's um, kind of the direction I want to take my therapy. Um, and it kind of sounded that you were in the same way, um, feeling in the same way. I'm trying to think of what else talked about and then you also talked about how um you related a lot to Gina and I think we all do at some point you know um I'm not necessarily you know not going through a divorce or anything like that but we all have those you know traumatic experiences in our life and you know a person you know it happens you know we're always trying to fight battles and you know deal with problems and so I 
I definitely can relate with you on that level. I'm on the same kind of level as Gina. Maybe not going through the specific things that she was going through. But, you know, just making sure me as a person is... Um, I put my oxygen mask. I'm going to use that from now on. Thank you. Um, on first before I can do that for anybody else. Um, so I hope you had a great birthday week. And I hope no more fire alarms go off. And I hope um, you just enjoy your week and your weekend. Bye, Christian.